Hello and welcome to a lesson on Domain 1.2, Security Governance. It's important to remember that the CISSP is a concept-based exam, so if these lessons feel disjointed, it's because that's exactly what the common body of knowledge is. It's a mixed bag of security concepts with the intent of ensuring that practitioners have the expected foundation of knowledge for someone with the CISSP credential. So let's get into the lesson. Governance is basically how an organization is managed. Security governance is how security is managed through policies, roles, and processes used to make security decisions. Some, some points of interest on organizational goals are security must align with the organizational goals, not dominate or drive them. Security is optional. It's a support function. Remember that security and the budget that funds it can be done away with at any time. Security practitioners must align with organizational goals as well. It helps to keep the costs down and it helps the security program serve the organization properly. A governance com committee is a formal decision-making body within the organization. Some additional concepts you need to be aware of are the terms acquisition, merger, and divestiture. Acquisition is when a company purchases another to become one of its subsidiaries. Merger is when two companies are combined into one, and divestiture is when a company cedes or, for, or gives up control of one of its subsidiaries. If you're not familiar with these terms, you should read up on them and how they impact security. Since most of Domain 1 has concepts that we're all familiar with, I won't spend a lot of time covering them in detail. Some security roles you should be familiar with that can push out security policy and decisions are senior management, such as the CEO, Chief Executive Officer, Chief Financial Officer, Chief Information Officer, Chief Operating Officer, Chief Information Security Officer, Chief Security Officer, and so on and so forth. Some of the roles of the security manager, uh, the security officer or security director, might be called the Chief Information Security Officer or simply the Information Security Officer. Uh, some of the roles include managing the day-to-day -day security operations, advising management on security decisions including change management and uh, configuration management, advising on security product solutions and participating or leading incident response and disaster recovery roles or uh, efforts. Pardon me. Some supporting roles would be security personnel, Security personnel support the security manager or officer in their functions, but with different disciplines, within different disciplines, such as personnel or physical security. Administrators, such as database administrators or system admins and technicians, and the users of the data. A security control framework or a framework is a shell of something or a starting point. So a security control framework is simply a list or a set of controls. A control is the same as a safeguard, which is simply a specification of how you should do something. Security control frameworks in the CBK include ISO 27001, ISO stands for the International Standards Organization. 27001 focuses on information security management system, which is basically governance. 27002 is security controls and I plan to do an entire video on the ISO series and how to remember them, so be sure to look out for that one. COBIT is a framework aimed at documenting organizational security IT controls uh, or uh, organizational IT security. So if you take the first three letters of COBIT, the COB, and you reverse them, it spells DOC, D-O-C. So uh, documenting, so you can remember it that way, or at least part of it, documenting the O in the IT, organizational IT. So doc reversed is COBIT. The O, and the, there we go, the organizational IT. ITIL, let's see, where is that? ITIL is how IT can serve business functions. So remember, you can remember it by thinking, I tilt it this way or that way for the business. So I tilt it this way, uh, and I misspelled I, of course, figures. I tilt it this way for the business. So I tilt is how to serve the business. NIST Special Publications, 
such as the risk management frameworks uh, 853 which is a set of security controls 837 which is the risk management framework I should say 800 dash 37 not 837 uh, CSA star which stands for the cloud security alliance which publishes standards for cloud security of interest would be tier 1 which participates which uh, the participants self assess by filling out a questionnaire tier 2 is a third party assessment and tier 3 is continuous monitoring by a certified independent organization and the source that I have says that this is in draft format at least the tier 3 is draft format the last two concepts of this dom of this uh, subdomain are due diligence and due care which I have a separate video on and how to remember the difference and so be sure to check that out and other than that thank you for watching best of luck in your studying and have a great day